I am stoked. This color turned out so much better than I thought it would. Alright guys, welcome back to The Average Garage. So as you would have seen in a previous episode, we're about to put some pri sealer primer in the engine bay, which means some methylated spirits or some other, some wax and grease remover and some fire. So we get to play with fire. So what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna quickly hit, that, hit the area with some wax and grease remover, clean off anything there. Also, I'm gonna hit it with a bit of fire just to make sure there's no grease and also to dry out any water that is left there because it's just been spitting with a bit of rain. So we're gonna get to that. I'm gonna spray some primer sealer on the area and then after that, we can rip that fiberglass matting out, rip the brake booster off with the master cylinder, rip anything unnecessary off, probably some of the brake lines, pull all the fiberglass matting off and get ready to paint the engine base. So I've got some paint. Don't know if I've got enough, probably not, but we'll get to it. So we've just taken the master cylinder off and now I'm gonna to get to the brake lines in the wheel arch. We're gonna pull the brake lines out of the engine bay. Then I'll worry about taking the booster off. So you win some, you lose some. I'm pretty bummed at the minute because I've just prepped the engine bay with CT18. Probably should have seen this coming, but it's just literally ripped off half the bog that I put on the weld and the like the rust repair. And it's taken off all of the rust coating that I put on, so the primer and sealer. So I should have seen this coming, but I didn't. I thought it would be all right, but turns out it wasn't. So I'm gonna have to go and redo all of that work again but I won't give you guys the boredom of watching all that. So next time you see me, we will be priming the engine bay. So everything's stripped out of it, it's ready to go. I just need to clean it up, let it dry off. The weather has been terrible lately, so it's not very good for painting, priming, sealing, anything. So I'm gonna have to let the weather warm up and dry up a bit because it's absolutely been shit the last few days. So yeah, stay with us and we'll get to priming the engine bay now.
so the engine bay is all primed up. Now we can put our color on, which to be honest, I still have no freaking clue what color it is. It just says engine metallic. So we're gonna find out. I think it's like a gray with a bit of silver fleck, but we'll find out. So anyways, we're gonna paint all this up, uh, give it a couple of coats, and then hope for the best. So stay with us, stay tuned, let's get to it. Reactions? Fucking stoked. Actually, I shouldn't say that. I am stoked. This color turned out so much better than I thought it would. And I don't know how much you can see on the camera, but there's a lot of flake in it and it looks damn sweet. Alright, so we're done with the engine bay now. It looks fantastic. It is only half painted, but that's for a good reason. The rest is going to be done in body dead nut. So next up, we're in the next episode, you should be seeing this thing up on the hoist. We're gonna rip out all the suspension and the rest of the drive line, so the diff and all the linkages. We're going to clean it all up and put body dead nut under the entire vehicle in the wheel arches, all that sort of stuff rip all the brake lines out, maybe the fuel lines, fuel tank, all that sort of fun stuff. Finish up the engine bay with a firewall and all that, and then we can start putting the engine in, cleaning a few little other bits up, and then we can start the reassembly. So stay tuned, thank you very much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, share the videos with your mates, spread the word. It's gonna be, <coughs> it's gonna be awesome. Stay up to date on my Instagram, I post little teasers here and there. So yeah, all good. Thank you very much guys, we'll see you in the next video.